Welcome back to more Enshrouded. Today we're gonna get more progression. Well, we're gonna get the spindle, hopefully. We're gonna get um, a new tower that I'm actually in right now. That is right here. So that should hopefully become a new wave point so I can delete some of the other ones. And then we hopefully find everything we need to find up here to get um, our next missing tools because we're gonna need to unlock, you know, better gear, better armor um better crafting recipes you know which are all locked right now behind me getting these tools so um I i've been exploring a little bit here trying to find my way through here to get to where i need to go and i came across this tower which i'm in right now i'm in the ground floor and um this is where we can unlock the fast travel point at the top because i want to get to the glider but the problem with the glider is it needs um what does it need it doesn't need the spindle, but it needs resources that I don't have yet. So if we look at the journal here, at the workshop, at the... Who has the glider? Is it the blacksmith? Oh, copper axe. Oh, I didn't know we have unlocked this now. I found some copper ore along the way. Um, and actually, no, sorry. I picked up a copper bar just now in the tower. And that must have unlocked these recipes. That is pretty awesome. Oh my god, we can have custom grappling hooks? What? We can place them in the world? Oh no, they're furniture. Okay, so only in our base. That is... Oh, look at that. We got um, new weapons now. Okay, I got really excited there for a second. Thought we had some new weapons unlocked. So, the uh, picking up copper and um, the other... The bronze ingots unlock things yeah the glider sorry for the glider we need linen and linen i'm pretty sure we can't make unless we have the spindle which is obviously something that we need to unlock as soon as possible because otherwise we're gonna be stuck so um yeah so uh, viper how are you doing so that that's the idea so we just got a bit of sidetracked here with uh the glider uh, sorry with the tower so we're gonna do that first and get through here. Whoop. Okay. So I just, this is literally the entrance of the tower. This is the first level and um, I'm just, I just hit the first button here. That's the first puzzle. So I'm gonna have to try to find the second button. Oh, so one of them bounce, bounces off the walls. Okay, so here we go, here we go. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Here we go, here we go. We just casually walk along here with everything. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Holy moly. Okay, so this is the door we have to open. Oh, nice. There's a big boy healing potion. Okay. But where is the button that we need to shoot at or press or... Oh, is it that one? No. That is another button. Oh, my God. Okay, it's this one, is it? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so one for two, two for one. Okay, so now we can go in here. Yes, look at that. We found another copper bar. And I can't do the copper bars yet unless the copper bar became a new recipe in the kiln, I guess. Let me see. Uh, not workshop. Yeah, actually workshop and kiln. Is it... Oh, the workbench has a new recipe? A copper block. Wow, that looks badass. That looks like dungeon material right there. That is fantastic. Um, the kiln. Does the kiln not have... No, that's just bricks. Oh my god, yeah. Charcoal kiln, tile, wood acid. So where are we making forge? You would think that we can make copper bars in the forge. Oh. New arrows, uh, copper arrows, very nice. So we can make copper arrows now. That will be brilliant. They do 14 damage, um, which is a great upgrade to, um, actually poison arrows are also very good, but they need copper arrows and a poison sack, which we actually have a lot of. So finally we found a reason for the copper sack to exist. And what do we have new here from the copper stuff? Let me see. Here we go, we have a new door. Okay, is that it? No, there's one more, two more things. No, that's it. Okay. 
And then we have new stuff with the alchemist. What do we have new with the alchemist? I'm not really sure. Okay. Must have been just some decorative stuff. Alright, so let's go and get the spindle. Oh, I went the wrong way. I went back. Ted, good morning. How are you? Any more copper ingots? That would be awesome. No, that's where I just came from. What happened? Did it go double back on me twice? Yeah, there we go. That's the right door now. There's actually a room here. Balcony, nice chest. What do we have? Okay, copper arrows, free arrows. Not gonna say no to that. These things surely wouldn't have um, copper arrows, uh, copper bars. They have metal sheets usually. Yeah. No, nothing here. That. Glow dust, nice. Ah, oh, yes, fire breaks. Just some salt. So, oh, we need four lights. Oh, that's pretty. Can we walk here? Yes, another copper bar. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Nearly missed it. And there's another one. Nice. So I wonder if the last one is actually across here. Oh, no. What? Oh, genie mark that gave me fright. Beautiful. What do we get? What level is that? Level 13. But it's only one upgrade. Yeah, that's not going to help much. So we can actually salvage that. We can get rid of that. I don't need salt. We have loads of it. Um, hardwood. Oh, that's interesting. That's the next level of wood. That is very curious. Um... We don't need any of those because we, we farm loads of those. Again, cameline, ca chamomile we don't need. We have loads of it at home. Okay. Yeah, and this one we have loads at home as well. Okay, good. Now let's see. Where is the last opening? Another chest, okay. Wizard boots. Actually, I already have them, and I'm wearing them because they have a higher um, health regeneration than the warrior boots or the other boots I was wearing. So the other ones only had plus one health regeneration, so I sacrificed a little bit of armor. So where would we find the next last... One more left somewhere. That's where we came from. Ah, here. 
That means we weren't here before, so we should check all these doors. There we go. Nice. Hidden, how are you? Little too much adult beverage last night. Oh no. Yeah, plenty of water. I only had. Uh, I had a few beers last night myself, but um, towards the end of the evening, I definitely uh, drank my bottle of, of water. So I wouldn't go to bed, you know, with the alcohol in my mouth. Drank lots of water and. Um, drunk it about uh, an hour and a half before I went to bed. So sobering up basically before you go to bed is always good. Okay, where is the other one? There. Hmm, I'm curious though about if there is anything up there. Can we get up there where those things are? I don't see any hooks. Hmm. I don't see a climbing wall so yeah I you know why is this there why does this exist up there it's it's bothering me like you know why why do we not just see the lights go across why is there that bridge that we can't access I guess it's so we might not see straight away when we walk in the the buttons left and right so it could be more of a distraction than actually something useful Okay, before we go there, let's make sure that, um, yeah, there we go. Experience scroll? What? What is that? The most different experience gathered and described in the scroll gain a small amount of experience upon absorption of the content. Yes! Nice, can we craft them? That would be amazing. How much experience did I get? It's a secret, I guess. Okay. Oh, yes, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Now let's go upstairs. It's down here. The prayer flame scroll. Wow, that was a good drop in some random. Golden chest, nice. Hmm, okay, yeah, so we're full now. Um Yeah, mana regeneration rings might be good for when we start using the push glider. Now we're on top. Okay, I see. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. You're not sure you're alive either. <laughs> I think that's it. Undergrowth of the Revelwood hides madness within the elixir's cradle, the root of the rot, the seat of insanity, a labyrinth of malady and disorder nestled in the bosket's heart. Well, somebody took poetry classes.
simple yes or no would have sufficed. <laughs> okay, so now we fight. Ooh, what do we have here? Like it. Look at that. Just gotta check those nooks and grannies or those couches and obvious spots. Okay, fast roll point. Great, so I can get rid of this fast roll point now. Though this one is a really nice one because it actually has clay and it has iron here. So we can actually make some upgraded tools and leave this one here for farming. Yeah, loads of iron. Big iron cave here. Loads of clay here. Yeah, so I think I might leave this specific one just for farming. Though I could probably just glide across. To be honest. Um. Yeah, so we can... Get rid of this one here as well. Yeah, leave that one there for now. And we just get rid of this one here. Um, can we get rid of this one? Theoretically, we could. Because we have a spire here and we could glide into here. So... Yeah, I think we can get rid of this one as well. Though it might actually be nice to have this here to walk across here. Yeah, leave, leave that here for now, I think. And we get rid of this one, and then... This one, we don't need this here anymore either, I think. Because we can't walk from here to there anyway. Or here, so... Actually, maybe we can go from here to here, I think, so, and we still have a lot of exploring to do here, so. I'm not sure we can get everywhere from the shroud, so leave that there for now. Leave it there for now. Okay, so let's empty everything, and then we should be able to get the uh, spindle. Clifford, how are you? Good old cakes in the morning. There we go, we have a new quest, so let me empty everything first. Some bones. Cloth, we, oh yeah, I threw the cloth out, some bone meal, do we have some salt, I don't know, but let's just go through all the boxes anyway. Yeah, I crafted a lot of these, now I queued up um, some more. Um, actually, fire bricks and copper bars are going to go in here now as well. We have the food here. Strawberries go in a different chest. Oh, do we have some meat actually to cook? Yes. Now that my mouse is working again, um, I should not have that issue where I'm constantly um, not clicking the button. Kona, how are you doing? I hope you're doing fine. Uh, hey, game. Sorry I didn't see your last stream. Was reenacting. I was reenacting. Didn't want to get myself out of the mode. How are you doing this morning? I'm fine, thank you. And don't don't ever worry about not being there. It's not. It's not. It's not like you know. You know, we missed you or anything. And it's not like we stopped like ten minutes into the stream saying, "Well, we can't continue unless Kona shows up." So we're just gonna have to wait not like nine like three hours of that stream was us waiting for you <laughs> no no i'm only joking um no always appreciate you you being there no no worries and don't ever feel like you have to be there there we go um Ah, yes. Okay, so we have our things. Oh, I got a new shield. At the end of the last stream, I was saying, oh, I can't even get a new shield. So I did one more run uh, around of that camp, and I got a shield. <laughs> it's like, okay, it's now actually finally realizing I wanted something. Um, so we're going to put our gear here. We got some new shoes. Okay, we're going to have to put those rings somewhere else. 
stamina ring, stamina ring. No, that's a... Hmm. So we don't have a mana regen ring, really. Anyway, I'm going to have to get a bigger box together for all this, obviously. But um, let's put the shoes here. And the hardwood should go... Hmm, hardwood, yeah. Hmm, should go with wood. I guess hardwood is something you collect, so it's like wood. So it should go into the... Ah, why do I keep doing that? I hate this so much. Um, when you press the wrong button. There we go. I want to press sort. Bye. Yeah, I'll talk to you in a second. I already harvested everything that was here as well. So you can see here we have uh, loads of ca ca um, chamomile and loads of corn here. So I put the corn all in here. So that's fine. And we have the beets and the tomatoes and strawberries so everything's here actually flax that's what i crafted here i think i crafted flax seeds here yes so i wanted to make sure that if we need a lot of flax i wanted to basically put tons and tons of flax seeds here just to have a full harvest of just flax Manual placement. There we go. Nice. So this is going to be all flax. So let's see. Oh, yeah, our trees. We're going to have to check out the trees in a minute as well to see what we actually get from each tree. But let's see what the blacksmith has. Blacksmith. Uh, I will be doing another historic track today in moccasins and buckskin pants and shirt with bedroll over my shoulder. That sounds very exciting, actually. That sounds relaxing as well. Kind of very down to earth. Hi, game. Still going through your last video from your live stream. Nice to catch you. This one, MacGyver. Uh, MacGyver, 2005 Guyver. How are you? Um, it seems that the at the time you use hardwood is when you get some iron ingots. Yeah, so that's the next level of resources. Strange dreams of the castle. <laughs> Have you heard of Pike Meets Wisp? They're dancing lights in the sea, good omens, but merely a trick of the light. Until my daughter saw them, the strange glimmer in the water, moving, prowling. Now I see the same glow whilst I slumber from within the castle. It haunts me. It's no trick. It lives. Are you prepared to change that? Kid. I don't like when people call me kid. To do my best work, I need a smelter. Yes, smelter. Thank you. What requires a crucible? Beautiful. So, what do you have for me on new stuff? We can actually make a level 14 shield now. Thank you that we can actually craft it. But I think what I found is, is good. Oh, wow. A tank set. Holy shit. What is that? So, we have parry power, physical resistance, two block. 45 health and then we have the adventure set critical 120 health melee damage 40 oh i like that i think we're going to be making that i like the adventure set i know the resistance is probably better on the tank. No, actually it's not better on the tank set is it it's about the same it's actually about the same it's 61 and 30 um but i think oh the rising fighter yeah that was the old garbage one I think the adventure set might actually be really nice. But you can see we have the same stats. So these two are both equal in stats, which again also is something I hope they change. You know, I know we have plus six parry power here and plus 13 crit. But if we are talking about this one requiring more copper and more resources to craft, then it should probably have some slightly higher default stats, as in. 25 physical resistance and 17 or 20 magical resistance. You know, it should be a little bit higher. Especially if it's called a tank set. 
So I know it has the parry and physical resistance and those stats, but I think without those stats, it still should be slightly better than what we have here. So yeah, they're, they're going to hopefully revamp this because in the moment, it's all very basic. You know, the only thing they do is every now and then change these extra attributes and that's about it. Everything else is the same. So it becomes kind of like not as tempting, you know, to wear different sets necessarily. In the end, it's all about damage. If you do enough damage, you don't need you don't need any defenses. End of story. Why does it highlight these? I don't understand. Mm. Okay. Okay, so um, let's eat. We're gonna do a big food here. We're gonna eat one of those before we go out. And we have a bit of water. Okay, good. Let's. Uh, we don't check out the trees yet. We're just going to go up here and go to the... Oh, the forge location is over here as well. Okay, let's go here and see if we can. Do the spindle. Actually, let me try something. I want to see if the chests respawn in this in this tower because if they do that would be a good way to farm a golden chest dude that would be amazing especially if the resources re refresh in the tower so we have this tower here so let's go down one Where's the stairs? Oh, it brings us all the way to the bottom? No, does it? Oh, that's crazy. So we can't do the middle place anymore. So we can only go up or down. Nah, there we go. So we have to do all this again, is it? Okay, but if we do this again, the resources are all back as well. Look there, loot, fire break. Yeah, so all the stuff responds. That is actually pretty cool. Because that means that... Um, we could get some yeah free resources here. Especially when it comes to the fire brick and stuff. respond here let's quickly check here they're not giving us any bronze uh, any copper ingots here I just want to see if the golden chest would be back um, oh fire brick more fire brick than copper now All those people in only one bed, lots of spooning. Oh, they're, they're only allowed to watch me sleep. They, they have to sleep standing up. So this one, oh, there we go. What is that? That's the big one. Yes, chest. Let's see what's in here. I'll take that. Ah, there we go. How do we get up there again? There we go. Oh, hang on before we do. Oh, it's not giving me any more copper ingots. It's like hell bent on giving me fire bricks, which I have no need for. I need to make tools. 
So getting free copper ingots would actually be preferred, but okay. Ah, oh, I missed it. Water here. Yeah, if you ever get the chance hiking, so much fun. Oh, I, I, I used to love all that stuff, and then be, I became unfit. <laughs> uh, then I became very unfit. Oh, I think we're just back here at the start where. We're... Oh, are we? Yeah, we are. I just forgot to pick that up. I just went to the wrong one. I did that earlier as well. It's very confusing to me anyway, to not to the average person. Yeah, there we go. I had to look at the four lights. Why did I not look at the four lights? Well, I just want the, the other golden chest and I want to get a legendary item. So you can't do it from the top down, which is interesting. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. We just go here. All right, so now where we want to go is... Oh, I don't know which one. I think it's this one. Spindle. I guess it's this. Oof. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Ah, oh, we're falling short of it. So how do we get across there? Can we make that jump? Maybe I should go more across and then across. Let me see. So maybe we do this and that will get us across and then we can walk from here. Yes, much better. So the tower is really needed because without the jump of the tower, there's no way you're going to get up here. Oh, what do we have here? Okay, I take it. Is it up there? How do I get up there? Let me see. Oh, it might it might just be a head here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh, it's up there. Is there somewhere? A hook or something? Oh! Ooh, spideys. But loads of mushrooms.
Oh, I didn't make a new torch. Let's make a cheap torch if we can. We need plant fiber. Let me just get some plant fiber. Come on. These are not bushes? What? How are these not bushes? Give me your bush. Come on. There we go. Ah. What meat do you have? Yeah, no meat. Is that another tunnel? No. So there was a big fatso standing there. Okay, let's get back. Let's not get sidetracked. I have a tendency of getting sidetracked sometimes. Um, I know it doesn't look like me. Um, if you, um, you don't ha uh, have to even take a backpack. Uh, I've done hikes. It's just me walking around my neighborhood. Oh, uh, I us we usually we have a place where we go a little bit up in the mountains and all that. But like I said, I'm extremely unfit in the moment. I have to start with small walks and then go from there and get bigger. That was awesome. The Matrix special effects. Oh. Whoa. Oh, the amount of string we're gonna get from here. Wow. Nice. Keep it coming. Oh. Keep it coming. Pick it all up, though. Oh, there's something over there. That might actually be it. Yes, the hand spindle. Love it. And what is that? The sleepless night, clean woods, and okay, yeah. <laughs> is that a candle? Can I pick the candle up? No. Nice. 
I'll let us back up. About here. We already were here, that's just another way of, another way of getting here. Yeah, I think that's it. This is pretty much complete now. Is that a chest over there? No. Okay, so um, we completed the abandoned hunter, ca hunter camp. And this is where the forge is. I wonder if we could just simply go here. Yeah, we have to travel back here anyway. So let's go and bring the spindle home first. And see what we unlocked and that way we can queue up some stuff and take some time to craft and then go skedaddle get the forge the bodies they can be used like light yeah that's awesome um okay, let me put everything away first look at this we got 52 strings that is awesome Some salt, I think. I don't know. I have no idea. Actually, these spores they should be coming with me, they should be up here. Nope, they should be up here. There we go. Yeah. Here we have the fire brick and the copper bars. And this goes here. Nice. Look at all the mushrooms. That is awesome. And then we have the potions here. What's your wish? My hand spindle, yes. Oh, an ambush, but I hit my tracks. How could the soldiers... Ah, spiders, you say. Ignore me then. Place that hand spindle and we'll move on. Hush now whilst we craft. My secrets are mine to keep. <laughs> okay, what do you have? What do you have? A new recipe somewhere? You have a yellow marker, so there is a new recipe here somewhere. Where? I missed it. It was it was so new, I missed it. Um. Okay. Take care. Do you have anything new? But I have new manual crafting? Hang on a second. There we go. Explosive powder bell net. Holy crap. So that's with the linen now. Yeah, so we can make like really serious kabooms. I love it. Who doesn't like serious kabooms? I think we're going to have to expand our base sooner rather than later. Um, well, I can put a crafting table here, I guess. Oh, it's only tiny. It's only tiny, tiny. So we can put it here. Linen. Okay, so flax. Oof. How much flax do we have, though? Let me see. Thank you. 
That's just to repot. So if we need a lot of flax and a lot of linen, I think what we should do is... Um, There's no flux here. So I have to wait for all the flux to be... Um, hang on. There must have been flux in here. Otherwise, it wouldn't have disappeared. Yeah, 31 flux. So let's... No, it's wrong. It's wrong. The wrong machine. Oh, it takes two flax. Okay. That's why. Crafts them pretty quick, though. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, this is crafting. Let's uh, check out our trees. And then we're going to have to make new tools. So this is one of the trees I planted. I have no idea which one. So I'm assuming we just get wood from that. Do we get more wood than the average tree from it? Okay, so let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. So I, I, cra I basically crafted five of each tree. So let's see if we get all the five trees down. What did I end up getting from this these five trees? And then I do the other ones. Nothing else we missed, no. Okay, so that was one of the trees, I guess. Um, so let's see what we got. Um, 64, 6. Need the chest. Well, it would be good if we had a chest that is empty enough where we can put these in. Um, Here. And that way we can see what we actually end up getting from each of those type of trees. Um. Hey Azamin, how are you? Um, Azamin, quick question about No Man's Sky. How do you find portals in the orbital update? As far as I know, there is no cartographer maps or portals anymore. Um. Oh, yeah, that's actually, yeah, they changed a few things. Uh, you used to be able to put navigational data as well into the little um, machine, you know, the little machine you can put down and you used to be able to put navigational data in and that brings you to like a location where you had a chance to get a Esco's, es exosuit pod, drop pod. And that doesn't work anymore. You can't feed it uh, navigational data anymore. So they changed a few things. The whole area closes uh, uh, area close to where the spindle was has a lot of flax in that area as well as pike meat. Yeah, pike meat. I don't know what that is yet, so I have to um, investigate because that was part of the next quest as well. Hey, poker face man, did you win everything? No, I didn't. I actually, for the very first time in me playing poker with the guys, I got uh, we allow rebuys, yeah, but I never had to rebuy. Um, we allow, allow rebuys until midnight and only two rebuys in total and like not per person in general in total and I got kicked out very early actually um, we started about half eight so I got kicked out an hour in and that was unusual because usually I don't and I had a very strong hand I had, I had something like ace queen or something suited and uh, we raced pre-flop I raced pre-flop and then it was Texas Hold'em we play and then somebody else called and I was like, okay. And an ace comes up and a three and an eight or something. I was like, there you go. Boom. He raises. I go all in. 
because like I'm not even gonna mess around. Like, yeah, that was it. It's like either he's gonna go away and he doesn't think I have the ace and he's gonna fold, but he's not gonna call. So for so my so my all in was more of a, a scare tactic, but he calls and I'm like, what the fuck? And he turns an ace in his three suitors around. I'm like, fuck. So like uh you know, that was it, like um straight out. So I bought back in, but then I lasted until about uh, half one in the morning. But again, the the uh, I lost my hands to like again ace king suited, ace ace comes up on the flop with something like uh, a two or something, and then I slow play it because we were pretty high blinds at this stage. So I slow played to get most of the money, and um, a nine comes on on the turn, and I'm like, okay, that's it, you know, boom, raise. He goes all in. I'm like, yeah, I got this, you know, all in call. And um, I have my ace king, two aces on the board, no problem. And he turns around an ace and a nine. I'm like, are you absolutely kidding me? Like, unbelievable. So I had good hands and just got beaten by better hands. You know, it's, uh, it's so they were acceptable losses because they went shitty cards that I lost against, you know. But oh, man, what an evening. It was very exciting. We had, like, after I got kicked out, the guys that were left, there were some amazing hands. Um, like, we had two kings against two aces, uh, pair of sevens hitting trips, pair of tens hitting trips on the flop against high pairs. You know, oh, man, there was some serious good hands, like, being played that night. My pimp hand wasn't strong enough, no. But it, but these are good evenings, you know? I mean, it's, it's just for fun, like, you know? So you do, like... A little buy-in you know to get the chips and then whoever wins in the evening gets the money and the, you know, the second place gets their money back basically they buy in back so it's it's really good it's a lot of fun so we have 50 here let's make more um seeds why can i not make more seeds oh water crap that stupid water okay 10 20 30 10, 20, 30. So there we go. We have 60 flax seeds then. That's going to be good. And the rest is, um, yeah, up for grabs. So we can put more stuff in here. No. Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. So flax, 10, 20. There you go. Uh, wait, is it legal in your area to gamble at your house in the area? Oh, nobody cares. It, it would be different if uh, it was like every night you have like strangers coming to your house and playing for money and you take a cut as the house. Now, the, you know, what we're doing is fine. It's just a couple of friends basically meeting up for poker, you know, and playing between them. So there's no strangers or anything. Like it's about five or six of us and that's it. Just a couple of brewskis. And that's it. You don't you, you you don't need to worry about that here for that type of stuff. So um, let's go and get um, over to the forge. But let's make better tools. Actually, do we have enough bronze ingots already collected to make some tools or copper ingots? Where do I make the tools? Oh yeah, it was you. Let me see. So the copper axe takes four. Ah, oh, the pickaxe takes eight. Because I was just about to say, let's make the pickaxe first so that we can get more copper faster. And we have that one hardwood, which is very important. So I'm assuming that... Seeing that we don't have enough of this anyway, let's take the hardwood and the strings and make the copper axe so that we can chop down the trees quicker, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. And let's just repair everything as well. Oh, when you turn it into a gambling operation where you take a cut. So say, for example, if somebody would host and they would host every evening for friends, but they take a cut. Yeah. And the house basically makes money every night. Then you basically need a gambling license because you facilitate gambling. Yeah. Um, people just playing between them. There's, it's again, it depends. If we would play, like, say, we put like something like 20 quid into the pot, like, you know, each, that's, that's it, like, yeah. But um, if you would play where everybody puts like five grand or 10 grand in the pot, 
again, that's a whole different story, you know. But I think there's uh, there's legal limits anyway, like you know that you can get away with things like and all that. But um, yeah, this is just local stuff that nobody cares about. Um, I don't even think there would be any legal issues if you would, even if you were pedantic about it. I don't think there were, there would be. Okay, so let's take that axe and replace this one, and then we can theoretically, yeah, we can destroy this one. We don't need that any longer. There we go. Let's actually get some water quickly refilled before we go. Uh, that's interesting. Mind you, I live in the United States. My area is completely illegal. Yeah, no, it depends. Like in this, yeah, absolutely. You could have some areas, uh, you know, which are completely anti, and and you're not allowed to even walk on the street and say, "I bet your fiver the light is gonna go green." <laughs> you know, I'm not being funny. Like it could easily be, you know, that you couldn't even do that in in some places. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty tough, corner. But again, it's like a, we do it once every month or two months, you know, depends if people are around or something. So it's it's not even something that you could make a profit from in the sense that the taxman would be interested. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, let me see. Let's go. Not here. Where's our tower? Where's our new tower? Here. So if we go across again. And this time, walk straight there. Do we have the marker there? Yeah, we do. Oh, crap, I forgot to press. That's gonna, we're gonna hit a wall. Are we gonna hit a wall? I think, no. We might be okay, we might be okay. Yes, okay, we're okay. Whew. Always pick up the flax. So, hardwood, is that the big boy trees over here now? I wonder. So, let me see, is that those trees here? Wow, they're big boy trees. Yes, oh nice. Loads of hardwood here, I love it. That is sweet. And what about this one, is that a good tree? So basically those trees that have those special leaves on the side, I guess. What is that down there getting damaged? Oh, it's too far away. Yeah, get a few more of those. Oh, a lot of people play poker or blackjack. Uh, you just can't use money. Playing the game is no issue. Yeah, I mean, we're playing with chips. You know, we don't play with real money. You know? Yeah, it's different if you do it on a company premise. You know, then I can see that being an issue of somebody. Again, I think it all depends. Yeah, you you can you can have laws like I don't know. There's some stupid laws. I don't know if they even exist anymore. Like you can't ride a donkey on a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, that law may ex maybe exist still from 1912 or something in some countries. But if you're a cop who enforces that law, you are being a dick. <laughs> you're, you're being a dick. It's like, you know, there, there, there's certain things where you go, you don't have to be a dick about it. You know, just just calm your ham, 
you know, and assess the situation. And if it's just harmless friends just having a bit of bantering and nobody's making a fortune here, I think you can just like take a chill pill and relax, you know, if if if, if somebody reports it to you, you know. It's it's not that serious. There's I think there's bigger things to worry about, you know, when it comes to legal things, legal issues. Um oh shit. So if we have to go up there, that's gonna be quite a jump. I think, yeah, we might be able to make it going across here. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, we can actually walk up there as well. That is really nice. Oh, man. Chopping those, down those massive trees is so satisfying. Oh yeah, laws are always added. They rarely removed. Absolutely, yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, that thing is the most useless enemy. Uh, actually, yes and no, because um, like this is the funny thing about this thing. It's easy to fight, yeah. But basically, what happens is it just runs away, and you fight it, and every now and then it does like a little poison fight, yeah. Like that. And you can see when it does that, it drops actual poison. Yeah? So, it, if you hit it like often enough, it can drop like multiple poisons. So, I guess in a way, these creatures are kind of a good um, source of poison. And they also drop poison. I don't need the mushrooms. I can grow them myself. But um, I think they're really weird creatures because they're like so harmless. And you just feel so bad killing them. It's like, oh no. I, I didn't need to destroy it really. But yeah, chasing plants is a little bit annoying. But there's actually a good spot um, right down here somewhere where there's a house. Where is it? I think it's here there or... Yeah, somewhere here in this area, just as you get into the new biome, there's a house and right beside it is basically five plants. So you could theoretically just kill them, get five poison, reload the game, get five poison, etc, etc. Ooh, what do we have here? Okay. Blue Goblet Tavern. The lights are getting very excited here. Okay. Ooh, look at that honey. Nice. I hear pitter patter. I have no idea where it's from. What are these plants? Oh, they're fiber plants. Look at that. Oh my god. There's so much fiber here. That is awesome. Okay, these footsteps are really freaking me out because they sound like they're right behind me, but they're not. Another door here. Okay. Yeah, rats, I knew it. Get some fur. Got my eye on you. Oh, okay. You do that then. Whoa! Hello there. Oh, 
Oh, hi guys! That is awesome! Look at that! Chest hiding here! Ugh, it's an archer cloth, but what's the stats? Throwing damage, yeah, that means nothing to me. Um, but what a sexy chest! Sat on, oh, I sat on a stranger's crap and my ass cheeks touched where his ass cheeks, cheeks were. Oh my god. That is a grossy Josie. Um, haunted by a typically Dane, typical Dane island. <laughs> there is a law that says it's illegal to carry a concealed weapon over six feet long. What the hell? Like... Okay, but it's okay to have it five feet long? Like, I don't know. Um, I freakly went to an Irish bar in Tokyo, in Tokyo called uh, Shalale. I don't, yeah, Shalale? I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, the couple, um, the opened it, lived in Ireland for a very long time. Very good, yeah. What else do we have in this pub? There is actually really little here in this place for such a big place. And yeah, this whole upstairs is pretty much useless. Lockpick? I don't know if that was worth a lockpick. I'm sorry. That is not worth the picking of the lock. Oh. Secret attic? Okay. You got me intrigued. Is there a door behind that? No. Ah, uh, just a basic chest. Yeah, I would take that and yeah, well, I suppose. Yeah, that's it. There's not much in here, really. Well, the chest upstairs is meh. The chest downstairs can have good stuff in. That's that's actually fair. So, but let's go along here. How much hardwood do we have? 204. Yeah, that's plenty for now. How do we get up there? Whoa! 
well, good luck to you. You just blow yourself up, you moron. Maybe these guys have some um, Bronx ingots? Um, okay. That's a big boy camp that we're at. Maybe, oh yeah, it looks like we can go up the camp. Let's get that metal. These guys give us metal? No. Is there any chests here? Big boy chest. <sighs> Why does it have to be a crappy weapon? Why couldn't that not be a legendary version of that? So they found something in here. Oh, hello. Nice. Is that the... Oh, is this... I can't believe it. I thought we had to go up. This was complete luck. What a beautiful find. Oh, sexy. I actually didn't think it was in here. I was just curious about this because I genuinely thought we have to go on top of the mountain to get it. Oh, that is sweet. Very lucky. Okay. This is an awesome place to do actually a lot of mining. This is great. Well, I have the metal scraps here. I need a few more pick lock picks.
Oh, wow. Oh, hang on, there's a chest. So if this is a new area up here, sorry, that tower, where's that? We're looking at the tower over there probably, or here somewhere. Okay, so that's of no interest to us. Entrance over there and entrance over here. Oh, bastard! Landed on the doggy. Oh, what do we got here? Another chest, maybe? I love exploring this camp. This camp is awesome. The way it's laid out and everything. I really love it. It looks actually very genuine. Like, you know the way you see some camps, like, in games, and they just look like, okay, whatever. But this one has, like, the bridge across, you know, the stairs up on the side. It looks like a proper way you would imagine something to be scaffolded, scaffolded for mining. Like, this is the great thing about handcrafted maps, you know. People can really make things look awesome. What is going on here? Ah! Hang on a second. Is that the shroud? That's the deadly shroud. I can't get through that. I think that will be the deadly shroud. Let's have a look. gonna be deadly shroud no just shroud could be loot here oh just in case we fall in interesting so that's it just one mushroom here so is this like a troll cave There's absolutely nothing here. This is such a troll thing. They just wanted you to probably fall down here and uh, then go from there. It's like, yeah, we're going to get somebody in here. Then they're going to make a wrong step and they fall down and it's going to be funny. That is literally what this looks like. Okay. Okay. 
Sometimes the light the lighting effects make normal shot look deadly. Yeah, yeah, it looks really dark red. Yeah, this was a nice little detour. detour. I love it. That looked really nice. Oh crap, it's dark now. So we have to go over to the exit on the other side now. It's actually not that dark. The moonlight is, is bright enough here, actually. Uh oh! Just wanted to make a point here. Is there scary pants attack middle of the night from straight up front but still can't be seen? Oh, that's not uh, an enemy. What do we have here? Yeah, that looks awesome, the way that's set out, la laid out. Oh, that's where we came from earlier and we didn't continue. If I would have continued, I would have come out here. Yeah, okay. So that means I have explored everything. I just wanted to make sure there was nothing I forgot. And then here's the entrance exit, I guess. Wow, dude. Personal issues here much? metal out of that well and I started hitting it now so I have to finish it ah, two okay okay let's go straight to the obelisk research I guess might as well continue the circuit is not my friend. Oof! That could have hurt badly. What is the... Oh, a clay mine! Okay, okay. That is pretty sweet. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Loads of cameline. Calamine. Calamine. I, I, I love it that... Um, I'm not being facetious here. Funny. I love that people are trying to explain to me how to pronounce things. Yeah, like cam cam chamomile. I know it's chamomile, but my brain doesn't say it right when I'm not thinking really about it or focusing on it. So uh, this is probably the one instance, it doesn't matter how many people write in chat, this is how you pronounce it because the moment my brain doesn't work, which is the majority of times, it's like I have dyslexia for that one word. It just doesn't work. <laughs> uh, Nestle was in the Starfall Kingdom, a chasm so deep its contents have eluded us for millennia. No secrets can resist illumination by light of the eternal flame. An archaic evil brewing road. It must be buried, flooded and sealed. Humanity never uh, should never brush against these tendrils of pandemonium. But the tendrils, they sound like fun. <gasps> yes. Basic sort again. Oh, the spooky sound effects, yeah. <laughs> they did a good job, though, overall, I have to say. Who is that? Lorraine Grimm. Yeah, 
here. Okay. Whatever this is, set a wave point there and see if we can get there as well. Ooh. It's a patchy shroud patch. <laughs> we just run past each other going, okay, you didn't see me, I didn't see you. We, we, we just won't tell anybody that we saw each other here. It's so terrifying because I, I like the ground could be gone any second here and you just fall. Is it chests? Really? Two chests? Ugh. Okay. Weak, weak sauce. Weak sauce. Hmm. Your path up it looks. Ooh. Ah, it's not even a real cave. It's a pretend cave. Ooh, I don't really want to go this way around. This looks like a valid way up. here somewhere see I don't know if I should go down there because I don't know if it's safe to go there just in case So scary. Oh, there's red stuff. We have to be so careful. Yeah, the deadly red stuff. Yeah, we definitely don't want to fall down there, but that is where we have to go, I think. Well, not really. Maybe it's like around here. So, yeah, let's go home. <laughs> let's go home. Let's go home. Let's just do this another time. Hey. Watch out! Sparks flying! <laughs> yeah, you want me to craft a crucible? A smelter? There we go. 50 fire bricks. Holy crap. Um, actually, I have quite a few fire bricks. Um, what else do you have? Crucible. So... Fire okay. with fire. Um, 
We have the crucible. We need 50 bricks now, so let me actually go and just put everything away. Did we not put the wood in here as well, the hardwood? Oh yeah, we just had none left, okay. The twigs should be going in here as well. So this is for outside, 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 outside. Hello? Somebody smashed something? Okay. It's bright enough. <laughs> yeah. And then you get surprise attacked in the dark. It's bright enough around me. Just not uh, very bright, full stop. Yeah, I can't wait to get the fireplace. To get the fireplace uh, from the um, farmer, we need to just continue doing these quests for the NPCs that we have. And that eventually unlocks then the quest from the farmer to say, hey, you know, get me whatever the, I think the pot for the fireplace. They usually want you to look for an item, part of what they want to build. So like the crucible, for example, here. And then once we have that, we can auto cook, basically. So. here oh shit. oh yeah the torch yeah. who has the bigger Dark torch speed. did you make a big torch big boy torch i think so we need a goo and glow dust for it um no it wasn't you was it you yes wax torch there we go Catch you later. Excellent. Okay, so let's put the gloves in here. And now we need the 50 fire bricks. So we need to go to the kiln, I think. I'm um, sorry, not the kiln. This. Ah, oh, 10. Okay, how much? 10, 20, 30. 40, 50. Oh, how many lumps of clay do I have? Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, where's clay? I think that was it. No, there, we still have 35 lumps of clay. Okay. Fair enough. So let's get the rest of the trees here. And then we can make uh, the smell. Actually, plant these here first. There we go.
go nice big farm. And that will be then... It would be nice to get an upgrade where we get double yield or something to make this like better because this is gonna take, wow, you know, forever. There we go. Whew, okay. Check out the other trees. So these are funny because they were trees that we made, but we can collect them. And they just give us fiber and whatever and twigs. So they're not really trees. <laughs> trees. They were basically like this. Yeah. So now let's have a look and see. So this is just a normal tree. A normal tree. Again, just what's so similar to the other tree. Oh, yeah, let me see. Um, I didn't check really how much I got from that crap. Doesn't matter. Th this is pretty much going to be the same as the other five trees we had. Except the other tree had 100% resin every, every, every tree. This one doesn't seem to have that. That's, this seems to be basically your basic tree that has a chance of getting res resin, but man, nah, not really. Okay, and these guys here I think should be full resin now. Um, These guys should have one to two resin guaranteed. That was two. Oh! No resin. But these are supposed to be resin trees. There was another. Ah, there was four resin. So, yeah, these, these trees are the resin trees. There we go, another two. Another four, actually. I had two already in the slot, so whatever we have, the minus two is what we got from these trees. And you know, oh, wow, that was three. So yeah, these are very good for resin. So we got 16 resin from that. That was pretty good. The wood seems to be about the same. So the red ones are definitely worth it, I would say. So if we look at the recipe here for the trees, these ones really useful and these ones like you said really useful because from them we got a lot of wood so i would say wood is not really a problem so i'm gonna plant more of these there we go i'm just gonna queue up 50 don't care actually do you know what um that was a mistake uh, let me go split stack confirm Split stack, confirm. Split stack, confirm. Let's only make a few. I forgot we're making five pair. So this is going to be 20, basically. And that should be enough. 20 of them should be plenty. Where's the resin? Is the resin down here? Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, how many of those guys have we crafted so far? That's very slow, I guess. 11. So, we have about 20. We need 50 to make the... So, 26. We're halfway there. We're halfway there. Okay, so while we're waiting for that... Let me see. Let's go back to that camp that had a chest that we can farm and enemies that I now kind of know how to fight best. But oh, hidden hunting crowds. We could technically try to get in there as well. Yeah. 
Like these green guys, I kind of know now how to fight them properly. It's a bit tedious, but if there's more than one, it can get tricky. So you want to get them one on one. That's really the only way of fighting them. Um, let's do a quick reset so we can get the water from the place. So the, the trees that we need is the hardwood trees because, um, well, we still can go and farm them, I guess, pretty easily. Yeah, it's only one time, so it's actually really funny. Sometimes I can do three, and sometimes I only can do it once. Very strange. Okay, so let's head up here. Oh, no, 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 no. How do I interrupt? Ugh, bollocks. I didn't repair my sword. Come on, I didn't repair my sword. And we also don't want to lose this, so let's put that um, into here, the crafted chest. There we go. I know I need better equipment. See if we can go right here. Too tempting. Big massive trays, just too satisfying to knock down. Oh, yes. Look at those ass cheeks. Look at those ass packs. <laughs> ah, it didn't work. What you want to see. <laughs> ah, bastard. Oh, it's a wall runner. Unbelievable. Oh my god. What a nimble ninja. These guys have not given me any meat. Yes. Okay. Nice. Ancient obelisk. Crude lifeblood is extracted, diluted, and alchemized. Transformed, transfigured, molten, and born anew. Profound power fueling the bodies of the young and the ember veil, rushing them. We've failed, blinded by our stoicism. There's a word for you. Let us point our gaze back towards the sky, for this hollowed core cannot be saved. Um, okay. So that was it. Nothing else here. Nothing exciting here. 
I thought hunting grounds or whatever it was was like there's gonna be one big badass mofo that we have to fight or something. Yeah, hidden hunting grounds. What is the hunt? What what is what is? Sorry, what does this make the hunting grounds? What is here exactly that makes this worthy of being called the hunting grounds? Rock hard glutes. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let's let's go and um, see if we can take on those dudes. So let's head right up here. There's a few in this village as well, but um, I think the chest that is the most important is on. Actually, we could go straight to the exit with the chest. And then we have to only find fight one dual bladed green ninja. Oh, lots of poison. Ooh, okay. Let's do it. We only have 66 left, okay. Oh no. Oh hang on, there's a cave? What's in the cave, I ask? Ah, bollocks. I was going to skip left and right. What's here? I don't think I've seen that cave before. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Okay, it's a piglet cave. Oh. oh hello there. Oh, wow. Oh, I can see you. I can see you. at the end of the rainbow here nothing okay <sighs> so we're at the other th other side of the tunnel now oh that's all new area that is awesome pigs over here. Oh, look at that, a broken house. Lush pasture. So is this copper? Ah, metal scraps, okay. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Mm. It's only level 11. Curious. chests here really Let's explore. We have to wait for things to craft anyway. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, so let's see if we can fight those green dudes now. It's up there. Oh, there was actually somebody there. That was Ninja. Okay, I'm just pointing it out how Ninja that was. Yeah, just saying. That was like Uber Ninja. I will never give you meat, Pickles. <laughs> it sounds very wrong, what you're saying. I might actually just take the raw meat with me and wait until we have the cooking thing or and only cook minimal because this is getting a bit painful to constantly cook. Um, is there anything up here? Like a chest or anything? Like a chesty chest? Nope. So if we go around the village, to the back here, we can actually get to the chest and then I think we only have to fight a single... Yeah, so this is where the golden chest is up there. Oh. 
See that? See that? Bitch, your ass is mine. That's how we that's how we roll, man. That's how we roll. So we just have to get our find our way up there now. I think this exit is just a shorter access. Yeah, or you could just do that, I guess. Oh wow, do you see that ninja? What a slip and slide. Oh, we get an oh my god they respawn as well we get another free saw plate that is amazing we don't have to even craft it okay so let's see if we can get the the big mama again here okay, first of all we need to come on no actually i want the the explosions for the big mama Oh my god, she's a big fat klutz.
There we go. There we go. And she's dead. Oh, not yet. There we go. She's dead. So these shroud arrows are actually really good because they're stuck. I didn't know that. Well, it's purple, so... Oh, it has stamina cost. I hate those. Can't stand those. Oh, wow. Sneaky bugger. He wants head from the big mama. <laughs> well, we collected head, that's for sure. Oh my god, I hate when it gets so dark. Um, there's a chest here, I think, somewhere. Oh my god, why are you being such a knob? This one seems to always have building materials inside. Is there a chest down there? We have to check it out. No. Okay. Oh man, all that work and all I get is stupid purples and stupid wands and stupid staves, staffs, staves, something like that. Um, okay, so our stuff should be finished crafting now actually, so let's go home. Yeah, the city, they, 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 they look on the image, they look pretty good, so I hope they're going to look good when we place them as well. Um, Let's check. Excellent. That's actually, we have enough now. Brilliant. This is might be, this might actually be, oh no, it's a stamina bow, isn't it? That was the stamina bow. Yeah, I'm not, not interested. But we got a saw blade, which is awesome, because that means we can actually make a second one of those. It's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's put the saw blade in here. And let's put everything else away. Okay, and then we have some potions. And then we have some thingy bobs here. Um, what I might do is take the mushrooms out because they take up a lot of space right now and put them here as well. And then we have to put the meat away. There we go, and the blocks. Nice, okay, so with so many things now, we can and we should be able to build the smelter. Yes, thank you. Oh, anything else? Oh, look at that, we still we got one of those. Yeah, I already have one of those. I tried that one out, but even with the poison damage, it's just not very strong. Um, it, it doesn't do more damage than this, which is kind of a pity. I kept the other one and upgraded it by the one thing. I think I was able to upgrade it once for the extra poison damage, but just... It's just not worth it. 
It's different if we get a legendary version of that, most likely. Um, before we forget, let's just repair our weapons here. Okay. And let's place the... All right. Now, charcoal 20. Ooh, okay, so we need charcoal. Let me see. It's 20 charcoal, so we need 15, 30, 45, 60. So 60 will be even 20, 20, 20, which is great. So four. Okay. And then here we have a lot of charcoal right now. Oh, we can't make 10. Oh, we don't have enough copper ore, do we? 20 copper ore for 10. Oh, balls. But at least we're going to be able to make the new axe. Oh, yes. Is she going to tell us now about the... Yes, the fireplace. Thank you. There we go. We just need the kettle. Oh, this is going to be amazing. I have faith in you. Yeah, you and me both. Um, there we go. Where is that? Oof. That is... Holy crap. This whole circle is the fireplace for the farmer. It's like, could be anywhere in there. Okay. Why can't I not move the map? Hey, let me move the map. What are you doing? Wow, okay, so we're not going to get into this area for a while because we're going to have to go back here, go choom, 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 go across here, and then zoomy, zoom, elixir well. And then we have to see where we're going to put a fast travel point. Um, we theoretically could go around here, maybe? And could get to here quickly that way, unless there's a huge F of mountain in the way. But we should check that out. That would be really good to see. But yeah, let's see if we can... Um, okay, we have 10 copper bars. That's great. And then we can make the axe. And once we make the axe, we get loads of copper ore, hopefully. Are these all grown? No, repot, 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 repot. Oh, one is grown. The rest will be grown very soon then, I guess. So let's just go to bed. Yeah, that's why I wanted the fireplace. I can't wait for it because cooking the meat manually is just such a chore at this stage. But two constitution, three. Yeah, we're going to take this actually with us. There you go. Okay. Now, um, we also will be able to make a little bit better armor, I guess, once the f once that is done. Two and a half minutes. Ah, this is still not grown. Okay. So what we could do... What is that? So we could fast travel. Is this... Oh, this is on the top side, I think, so... Yeah, yeah, that's up there on top, so we can't really get to it from here. Well, let's head here and go around here and see what we have there. Just for two and a half minutes until we can, um, you know, get the prawns and then... Um, pick up all the flux oh is that it is that oh no no this we can't go in yeah 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 we had a problem with that because there's deadly shroud there so we need to, either this is not available and only access that part or it's um we need to upgrade our what is that? we need to upgrade our flame to be stronger oh that's a hazelnut tree Oh, wow, yeah, that's what that looks like. There's more hazelnut on it. What happens if we destroy it? 
Do we get a hazelnut seed? Can we grow our own? No, just twigs. Okay, in that case, zoom zoom, my friend. Wow, hit me actually. I managed to get a hit by a crippled flower. Okay, it's just not dying. Okay, you're absolutely bugged out. Ow, your penis. You're such a penis. Dick. So what do we have here? Yeah, we have to go up here and around. That's where we want to go. Oh, it's actually getting a bit darker now. Sorry, hang on a second. Um, because I'm streaming during the daytime, the light is changing a bit faster <laughs> and differently. So let me just fix that. Um, we can make it a little bit brighter now. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> More flux, always appreciated. Wow, there's mean flowers everywhere. Whoopsie. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're harmless. Yeah. Might as well. Oh, the green actually comes off it. Oh, that is pretty cool. Oh, they just keep spawning. Okay. Does that mean we have a potential infinite uh, source of um, poison? Yeah, look there. Poison came off. And it came off again. That is awesome. Okay, let's pick up the um, bits. There we go. Poison, poison. Another poison here. Yeah, beautiful. We got two sparks. That is awesome. These big boys give us two sparks each. And let's see what we can get over here. Okay, there's a village. Yeah, let's see what it's actually called. Let's head into it. Oh, the village with no name. Seriously? Were we here before? Could have been. How is this not named?
Yeah, let's go. Ugh, why am I wasting a lockpick? Yeah, wow. We we unlocked we lockpickered a, a door to the outside world. Woo! Yeah, let's head over here because hey, look at this. If we can find a way around that, that would be pretty sweet. Okay, can you just stop? I want to get to that. Okay, whatever. Oh, a farm? Farmland? No, a mine. What type of mine? Amber mine. Nice. I actually have no idea what we need amber for. I haven't really seen a recipe yet that has amber. So, I'm not really sure. What do you think amber is for? Is that for candles or something like that? Ugh. I drank the potion I was switched. It's there. Oh, I thought it was like a chest or something. Okay, so we're gonna keep going this way, I guess. Let's see. That looks interesting. Okay, into the shroud, but we can easily come back out, okay. Oh, can't, mm, can we get through there? Well, let's have a look. Is that a well? No, I don't want to go across there. Maybe I have to though. I want to go here, but ooh, this looks like it's just going to go deeper. I'm always in the wrong stupid bar. Okay, give me a heart attack every time I want to hit and then he's trying to eat. He's like, what are you eating for? You want to throw vomit at him? Is that what you want to do? Okay, 
So let's see how close are we. Oof, that, that could look like something we could do, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Chest, chest, chest. Ugh. Stupid item nobody wants. Okay, let's see. Can we go up here and maybe get a bit of a more high ground on this? Is there any way up from here? Oof, doesn't look like it. Okay, we got out of the shroud here for a second. Okay, nice. Okay. You little bastard. Okay, these guys are level 15 now, which is okay. Oh, you little shit. There we go. Oh, there's one of those Humpha Lumpas again. What is this? I can't believe they actually have dynamic projectiles, yeah? So they actually shoot and mid-air they just redirect to wherever you are. That's like so silly. So let's see. There's a well. Let's pick up some water. And is there a way up? Oh, there's a big cave. What is that? Resin? Yeah. I don't need resin. Oh, it looks like there is a way out over there. Is this mint mushroom meat? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, these guys are the... Yeah, they have these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No! It's dead. Okay, good. So that is the big brother that gives us... Oh, what is an ammonia gland? I thought they were... Yeah, that's what I thought. That, okay, they give us the shroud sacks. So we have the... Wow, that's the shroud version of those green sack things. That is pretty awesome. Okay, some animal going like all happy go Larry. Weird shit here in this area.
can't get out of here. Oh, can we? Can we? <gasps> that would be amazing. Yeah, that looks like a really bad cave. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's like I'm a mushroom. Come get it, bro. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Can we... That's all in the shroud, is it? Holy crap. Come on, there has to be... Yes, there is a way out. Okay, we're refreshing, we're refreshing. And over here... Look at that, that is amazing. We found a way through. Nice. Now, of course, right here now, we're going to have to build a fast travel point. That is sweet. Okay. Okay, that is awesome. That is literally where we're gonna have to go next and do our next adventure. Um, that means though, we should be, yeah, let's remove this one to be honest, um, because we can't get there from the tower. That's literally no problem. Um, even though here is a very good mining location, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to mark this here. So I'm going to remove this. Okay, and we're just going to wait the 30 seconds for this to be gone. And then we're going to mark on the map. Um, well, we can probably do that right now, is it? Yeah, we'll do that in a second. Wait for, wait for it to be gone. Yeah. Oh, we still have to do hollow halls. <laughs> but I'm having too much fun with this in the moment. Okay. So now, here is a very good mining location for a lot of things. Um, set waypoint. No. Why do we not have a mining icon? That is it's so annoying. Well, I guess we're going to use flax for mining. Yeah, and then we can always zoom, zoom over here. Okay, very nice. Let's go home. We should have enough now to make a pickaxe. Let's put everything away first. Um, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we have some new resources now. That's gonna be... Okay, let's put them in here, I guess. These anima... Amana, anemana, whatever they're called. one the one with the arrows Ugh, the one with the arrows yeah. okay and then we have the potions and scrolls okay good oh yeah that goes up in the top, in the top. where did the hazelnuts go do, go, do, they, do i put them in here yeah oh look at that
very, very tedious and time consuming. Let's put them here. There we go. So, how many do we actually have? I mean, if I go here, I know I can probably plant uh, this one directly. No, I can't. We have to figure out um, how many we can actually do in this square exactly, and then I'm going to craft as many as that, and that will be a pure flux field then. So let's go and craft the... Nope. I have to here. Pickaxe. Good. Nice. Strike while the iron's hot. So one thing we have to check now is with the other pickaxe, I, only every five or seven hits, between five and seven hits, I kept getting one copper ore. So hopefully with this axe, it will be a hell of a lot better. So just let me go here and test that theory. And let's see how much better that pickaxe is. Wow, fell on our face. Okay. Here we go, let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three. So maximum four. That is really good. That is a huge improvement. And we need 20 for 10. So we should always go out and get at least 40, I guess. So with one full, oh yeah, with one full stamina, we got um, that. So that's good. And then we we'll just do a stamina potion and we should be fine. And th this whole cave here is full of um, copper ore, so we don't have to worry about anything. Very good, look at that. We only have the inner circle now. Only 27. We had 18. It was the first one. Why didn't we end up at over 30? That's, that's terrible. Like three rounds of our stamina should have given us, um, should be given us the 40 we need. Oh, we 
We got a stone. Okay, that was a bit of a waste. There we go. We got the 40. Good. That's all we need then. Yeah, higher durability is a big help. Yeah, there is actually some points, but I needed the strength first. So I can save some points up and go into masonry and then miner. So we get extra resources. These two are very, very important. And then, of course, having more durability, like you said, is a bonus. So this is six points and this is two. So we need eight points, which is basically either four levels or a couple of elixir wells and um, a level up. So, But yeah, we're getting close to some more new elixir wells as well wells as well we have one here and i'm pretty sure there's going to be a few more over here um and that will give us some more experience points and we're gonna get a lot of experience here because this is 15 we are level 16 right now so um, level 15 mobs will give us a lot of experience still and um we should be leveling up uh, hopefully quite quickly so let's queue up here the um no, that's wrong. Yeah. No. Oh, the charcoal. Uh, there we go. Here's the charcoal. We have plenty of charcoal here. Excellent. So I think now we are in a position where we have to get... Uh, I can farm copper ore off camera. That's fine. And then what we're going to do is with the other copper ore, we're going to start making the adventure set. And that requires one... Two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Eight copper. Do we have eight copper? We have only three. So eight copper, and that will give us a full set of adventure gear. I'm not sure if it's better than what I'm wearing, but I'm going to craft it anyway fully. And we need linen, which was... Which machine? This one here. How much did we make? 30 um we should have enough flux for yeah there you go look at that 50 yeah absolutely awesome and it's pretty fast so like you said oh actually we probably want um only that and use some of that to craft more flux oh we actually had some here okay that's that's pretty cool um so we had some left actually okay go okay um what i need to know now is um one two three four one two three mm, okay three that's oh i have no water do i no i still have water left so in this case let's um Take a few out and queue up one more. There we go. Let me put the other one here so we at least have a backup. There we go. Excellent. And that means I can now hopefully figure out exactly how many we can plant and I can make that whole field just a flax farm now. And that's it. And the linen goes into the crafted box. Here we go. There we go. Nice. All right. We can start making some gear. So let's see which one we're going to do first. Um, also, shields. Yes. What is my current shield? 11 block, 43 power. And I have 10 block and 35 power. That's awesome. So I found this, which means the, the shield we can craft in the end is not that important. But our worst piece of armor is we have a chest that's level 13. Level 13. Trousers. Trousers and helmet are the ones we have to replace first. 
trousers. Let's see, can we do trousers? So in the tank set, the trousers give us 45 health. In the adventure set, the trousers give us also 45 health. So they're pretty much identical, the two of them. So we're going to do this one. And then we can make the helmet as well. The helmet between the two is parry power. Yeah, crit chance. Excellent. There we go. Strike nice. while the iron's hot. The existing one is 11% crit chance. This is 13, so it's a little bit of an upgrade. Should be red, Robocop, and the trousers. Ah, come on. Why does it look so f so feeble? It's like the same physical resistance and magical resistance as the tank armor. and It looks like we're wearing a tissue around our hip. But okay, whatever. Um... I found this helmet, actually, the Arch Helmet. It looks pretty nice as well. It looks like something wants to eat your face. What do you want? I can do it. Yes, the Advanced Collider. We can do this now. That is oh. actually correct. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Yes, look, we can craft the Advanced Collider. Nice. Oh, sexy time. That is so amazing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do and get that as well. And then... Whew, nice. I love it. Oh, that is so sweet. So does that get us now around a lot faster? Um, are the question mark roots? I actually don't know. Yeah, it would. the game would be a lot more fun if you would have server settings where you could adjust for single player and say, okay, I want double the drop rates of everything. Um, you know, I know for some it would be too much uh, items. We would have way too many, but at least I wouldn't have to pick them up anymore. But for the mining and all that, it would be great to have double mining yield or even five times mining yield. Because if you're just here to want to have some fun, but then you could probably get through the game too quickly. I don't know. You know, it's... Well, it is what it is. So I think it is perfectly balanced right now and you potentially could cause a lot of issues by just increasing yields and all that. I don't know. So the, you think the question marks are roots? This one, I don't know what it is because it's really hard to get to this one. You have to kind of go around here and it's under the bridge kind of nestled in. So it's really hard to get to this one. Um... There's no root here, so I'm not sure what this is. So usually the question marks are uh, like towns or, you know, they're places like towns. Um, oh, and we have Darren and, and its building block, so we could go there. Anyway, let's see what the new collider is like. How much faster we get to places. So let's say we want to go over here. We would have to find a way to go up there, which means we theoretically want... Oh, look at that, look at that. We might actually make this so much faster. Holy crap. That is amazing. Wow. That is so amazing. That is so fast. Okay, this is actually this is where it is. Look at that. Nice. Oh, whoa, chest. Awesome. This is an awesome meat farm. That is amazing.
And we have a chest here. So, oh, look at that. Nice. We got some new building blocks. That is so cool. And we got some stuff growing here. Very nice. A little bit of free stuff. Yeah, yeah. And we got some honey. There's actually loads. Okay, this area is very good for farming some of these items that we don't actually get a lot of. Like honey, wax another one here meat ah, crap. yeah at least you're dead that was a harvest harvest oh look and they have oh they have hazelnut here as well this is an amazing place That is crazy. And more here? Ah! Come on, you can do it. So loads of honey, loads of um, resources. These building blocks we could farm until we have like a couple of thousands of them because I'm sure the chest responds the same materials. That is pretty cool. What else is here? Anything? Oh, water. Sweet. We have water here as well. This is like a one-stop shop. Oh, yeah, I actually haven't looked. What are his? Oh, it's three strength. Can we... Oh, yeah, we can eat them. Instead of stamina, I guess. But, yeah, it depends. Well, I suppose we can make stamina potions then. And that way we have... Um, like stamina, strength, and health. That That's the key ingredients we need for our build. Anyway, this is a really awesome place. I'm loving it. What's happening over there? Oh, we have another... <laughs> Dumbass. juicy poison we make poison arrows from that and then we see how these um how the soldiers like the poison the poison arrows and we have a mine here nearby as well loads of oh my god look at that loads of copper loads of clay so this here this spot village and this area perfect just glide across into the village loads of resources we can be farming here for days that is sweet Excellent. All right. I'm actually going to leave this here now. And um, we're going to be probably back tonight with um, probably some No Man's Sky. Until I find another game that I want to kind of start looking at, um, it probably will be No Man's Sky and Enshrouded. Um, I'm not too keen on Dragon's Dogma 2 to continue. It, it, is, it, isn't, it is not as good as Dragon's Dogma 1. It, to me, I, I just don't feel the same urge to play it as Dragon's Dogma 1. Um, it's the combat system is amazing, but I think there's a lot of 
until they have all the performance issues fixed it, it's really bothering me with with the constant drops and um you know like some some of the um, features in it are very console and i find them very hard to deal with the way you have to do certain things like you can't uh, like the whole two-step three-step system to do something sometimes because it's made for console is, is really frustrating so um but yeah uh, we'll see maybe we continue with it i don't know i have to be getting myself into the mood for it so we're gonna leave this one here though and um thank you so much for watching we might actually do a hollow hall run next uh, stream on that Lightyear Frontier, yeah, I'm gonna have a look at, yeah, actually, uh, Lightyear Frontier, I'm gonna write that down. I think I did look at it, but um, there's a few games actually I saw um, Game Edge playing as well that looked quite interesting. And uh, I think Cage was playing it as well. There's one or two games which I have my eye on, which I don't think are out yet. Uh, the guys just got early copies, I think. So um, we're gonna do that. But um, otherwise, um, if you could leave a like on the way out, that would be great. And I see you guys later then. And uh, until then, have a good day. Have a good Sunday. Enjoy yourselves and stay safe. Bye-bye.